Hello everyone, my name is Sumit and I welcome all of you to BASP Self Learning Beauty Box of Solution. Today I'm going to tell you about Azure Q Storage. So first of all, we let's understand what is Q Storage and why we are going to use it and what's the advantage of using a Q Storage and how it works. So the goal is basically we need a scalable and durable storage. And for that, we have three kind of storage available within Windows Azure. We have blob, we have table, and we have queues. To know more about blob and table, you can go through my existing videos on blob storage and on table storage. This video will mainly concentrate on queues. So basically, queues are serially access message or request allowing web rules and worker rules to interact. So whenever a new message or will be added in a queue, the web rule and worker rules, they will interact with the, that queue and ex, that pull the messages from that queue one by one. And once the message has been delivered to the web rule or worker rule, that messages will be delete, that message will delete from the queue. Let me tell you more about queues. Basically, it's a list of messages which flows, flows from the bottom of the queue to the top of the queue in the order they were added to the queue. So basically, they follow the FIFO order so the message which added is first in the queue, that message will move out first or will be accessed by the worker role firstly. Azure queues are queues located in Microsoft Cloud, which you can use for exchanging messages between components either in the cloud or on premises. Windows Azure queue storage is a service for storing large number of messages. This can be accessed from anywhere in the world via authenticated call using HTTP or HTTPS. It means the messages which are added in the queue storage, they can be accessed from any anywhere in the world via proper authorization. A single queue message can be up to a 64 KB in size. A queue can contain millions of messages up to 100 terabytes total capacity limit of a storage account. The, so the limit of a storage account is 100 terabyte and a single message, a single queue message can be up to 64 KB in size. And the common uses of queue, what are the common uses of queue? Basically, we can creating a backlog of work to process asynchronously and passing messages from Azure web role to a worker role. So whenever a web role or worker role, they would like to communicate with each other, they can use a queue to send the message or to transfer the message from web role to worker role. So these are the queue limitations and constraint that the queue service supports an unlimited number of messages, but individual message in the queue service cannot be more than 8 KB in size. The FIFO behavior of the message sent to the queue service isn't guaranteed, means the message which we are sending into the queue, it says that the it follows the FIFO behavior, but still it is not guaranteed that the message will send to the queue will be in, uh, the, uh, in the store in the message in the queue will be in FIFO order. Message can be received in any order, Message sent to the queue service can be either in text or binary format, but receive messages are always in the base 64 encoded format. So these are the limitations. And there is one more limitation. This is the last one and very important that the expiration time for a message stored in the queue service is seven days. After seven days, the message are garbage collected, means the message will be deleted or will be removed from the queues automatically. So I have tried to explain about queue by using this example with the help of this image. You see that we have an account, AdventureWorks account, and this AdventureWorks account is required an order processing. So there is a queue named as an order processing, and in this queue we have multiple messages. So we can have more than one message in a queue. So like this, we are going to create a program in Azure in our .NET. So I'm going to create a queue. I'm going to create a program in .NET, and by using that program, I'm going to create a queue in a storage account in an Azure network and we'll be going to send messages or store messages into that queue. So let's see how to perform this. So first of all, for this, I need to open Visual Studio.net. So I'm going to open Visual Studio.net for desktop. And when I open it, I'm going to create a new project that will be a console application and I click on OK. Now, because my requirement is that I have to store the data into a queue, so we need to add a references first. So how to add a reference here is right click on this application, manage NuGet package, and here I write Microsoft Azure. I look for Azure storage. 
Azure storage you see Windows Azure storage so it's a client library for working with Microsoft Azure storage servicing including blob files queues and tables so I click on install and it will be installed within this application so after installation you can see a reference will be added automatically with this storage account with this queue and by the time it is downloading and installing You can see it has been installing here so by the time I'll move to Windows Azure and on Windows Azure you can see there is a storage account so I'm going to create a I have already created a storage BSP storage now how to create a storage on Windows Azure you can, for that you can visit my existing videos how to create a storage account on a Windows Azure and uh, even if if you want to know it again simply click on new and data service storage queue and enter the URL and we, this will create a new storage account on our Azure network so I already have got one storage account BSP storage account so so okay now you can see the Windows storage Windows Azure storage has successfully added and if you click on reference you can find out here Windows Azure storage so first of all to work on this program I'm going to add the library so I write here window using Microsoft dot Windows Azure dot storage using Microsoft dot Windows Azure dot storage dot authorization this is for authentication authorization basically user ID and password this is for authorization and because we are going to work on a queue I'm going to add a library for queue as well Microsoft dot Windows Azure dot storage dot queue next in this main class in this main function basically I'm going to write a code for this so what will be the code so first of all I'm going to create two variables here string first is account name string we need a key as well because we need to connect to this storage account so to to connect with this storage account or to access the storage account in dotnet or in visual studio .net, you need to select this storage and when you click on this manage access key so by using this manage access storage account name and this access key it can be easily accessed on our by using our application so I create here storage sorry string account key so I need to enter here account key and account name so account name is I click on here again manage access key and my account name is DSP storage so I copy this and paste it here account name and we need account key as well so to account key I select this you can use either primary access or secondary access both are okay if you want to regenerate the key for example you have already shared this key with one of the user and now you would like to make it secure again so simply click on regenerate so the existing key will be removed and the new key will be generated and then the user will not be able to access the data without your permission so this is this is simply to secure your data so that's the key and here I create one more variable that is string message then I create a try block try and catch to handle the exception exception ex and this will write and in this exception first of all I write a statement console dot write line ex dot message ex dot now in this try block First of all, I write here storage credentials. So, storage credentials because we need to connect with our storage account, Azure storage account. So, storage credentials, and in this, I need I'll pass the account name and account key. I pass the account name and account key. Then, cloud storage account and account is equal to 
new cloud storage account creds credentials comma use https so it will follow the https protocol colon true so i set this to true so it will then cloud q client because we are work we are going to work as a client so q client is equal to account dot create cloud q client and then i'm going to create cloud q q is equal to q client dot get q reference and the name of the q so i give the name bisp q that with that will be the name of our q or the name which uh, the q which we want to create it then i write q dot create if not exists so it will create the queue if the queue does not exist it will create a new queue in our azure storage account then i write here while true so it will read the messages from the user until and unless it will not set this to true so i write here console dot right line enter a message then i write message is equal to console dot read line and this message we are going to store into this queue or the storage account so i write here cloud queue message create an instance of this message is equal to new cloud new queue cloud queue message and i pass this message over here and then queue dot add message add message message so i add this into this queue and after that i need to get the confirmation from the user whether the user wants to store more record so console dot right line new message yes no and then message is equal to console dot read line and then i check that if the message equal equal n if it is equal equal n it will break the loop that's all so let's test this so test this we need to execute this program now if i execute this program what will happen it will create a new queue into this storage account and then it will display a message to the user to enter a new message then it will read the message and store the message into this queue then again it will display a message to the user whether the user wants to add a new message into the queue or not if user say yes again this loop will execute it this loop will run again and again it will request for a new message from the user and if it is set to no it will moved out from this loop so the queue will be created in that storage account but here you can see when i click on this storage account there is no option for checking the records so to check the records we need to set up uh, first of all we need to download and install azure management studio and with this azure by using this azure management studio by the help of this azure management studio we can manage our queues or tables or blob storage account so i have already downloaded and installed it and it's a trial version it's a 30 days trial version subscription with azure management studio so i have already installed it and you can see right now there are no queues so if i refresh this there are no queues now when i execute this program a new queue will be generated a new queue will be added into this storage account and in that queue there will be the messages which we have stored so let's test this so to test this i will i'm going to execute this program so i simply press control f5 the program will run and uh, i'll get a message anyway no issues if you get this kind of message you can run again simply run again So you can see here it's run successfully and uh, i got a message enter a message i simply enter hi 
then I got a mess again a new I got a message and new message so I press N and then it moved out from the loop and it says that press any key to continue and when I press any key the program the program is closed and now in Azure storage Azure management studio I refresh this queue so you can see a queue has been created and if I double click on this queue and click on peak message you can see that's the message which we created just now the expiration time so insertion time is 23rd 2015 and expiration time is 30th June 2015 as I told you there is a it, the message will be stored in that queue for seven days and after seven days this message will be deleted automatically again if you execute this program again it will ask for a message so I write welcome to PSP. new message yes and this time I press no so in totality now we should have three messages so when I refresh this you can see we have got three messages and the most recent message will store at the end of the queue so this is in the FIFO order so this is how we can create a queue and store the messages into queue in our Azure storage account so that's all in this video if you have any questions if you have any queries you can visit our website www.bispsolutions.com or you can subscribe our YouTube channel for videos on Azure. Have a nice day. Goodbye.